Right, now my courgette spaghetti is ready to cook. I'm just going to heat a teaspoon of olive oil in a large frying pan. And I've already got it heating up. I want to heat it for about a minute until it's good and hot before I put the pasta in. Now, the oil heating in a large, wide frying pan, heating it up on the highest setting, um, get nice and hot so it sizzles when it goes in. So here we go, and you can see that the kitchen roll has absorbed quite a lot of water there, so that's great. Drop it into the pan, makes a nice sizzle. Grab a spoon and stir it round once before you start. And then you leave it to fry without stirring for about two minutes because that is going to make it nice and crispy and a little bit brown. You can at this stage add a little bit of salt and pepper. After two minutes, you give it a good stir and you should find that a few little bits of brown in there and it's starting to soften. Keep it on the high heat and leave it for another minute, maybe two, until it looks cooked through all over. But I think that's pretty much cooked now. Give it another stir just to check. Yeah, glistening and a few slightly brown tinged edges. I'm going to put it in straight into my bowl. And there we have it, a lovely fresh bowl of courgette spaghetti, ready for your favourite sauce, or you could even just drizzle a little bit of chilli oil or garlic oil, and maybe a little bit of parmesan over. Watch out for my website where I'll be putting lots of recipes for sauces for courgette spaghetti. That's beatthebloat.co.uk.